Hello everybody, Trello here, and today we're going to take a quick look at the new Bishma Indian vehicle which is coming to the British Tech Tree in the Sons of Attila update. Now, as you can see, this is a T90, but there are a few differences between this and the regular T90. So as you'll see here, it is missing the FreeBM60 APFS DS round which has a penetration of 567 millimeters at 500 meters. So you've got to rely on the far inferior FreeBM42 APFS DS round, which only has a penetration of 445 millimeters at 500 meters. You've also got a HE timed fuse and a heat FS shell and an ATGM missile. So the heat FS has 550 millimeters penetration. 42 millimeters for the HE timed fuse shell and 850 for the ATGM, which also has a tandem charge for against ERA targets. Now, there are a few other interesting differences. So, this has a targeting speed of 23 degrees a second. The T90A only has a targeting speed of 14.3 degrees a second. So, I'm not entirely sure why this is so much faster at turning, but it is. This also has a far better targeting vertical speed, so 5.5 degrees versus 2 degrees for the T90, which, yeah, so this is much better at actually tracking targets. And of course, it does have the two plane gun stabilizer, and it has got a gunner optics of 2.7 to 12 times zoom. And of course, the gunner has access to thermal vision, and it does come with a laser range finder. And of course, you've got your 12.7 millimeter machine gun on the roof here and a Coaxial 7.62 millimeter machine gun in here. Now, moving on to the armor, it's mostly the same as the regular T90, but as you'll see here, it hasn't got the soft kill APS system, the um, glowy lights that you can see in the night vision. Instead, it's got extra ERA. So you've got the Contact 5 ERA here. Obviously, if you go to the Soviet T90, then it's just got the uh, soft kill system. So in theory, the Indian vehicle is a little bit extra protected against heat shells here, which is obviously very good. Moving on to the mobility, this has got a much better diesel engine. This has a diesel engine with 1550 horsepower. The T90 ha only has an engine of about 884 horsepower. Which is weird because officially these are the same engine, the CHTZ V92S2. So I'm not sure why the engine one is just almost double in power. And it's also got a higher top speed, so a top speed of 41 miles per hour forward on seven gears and backwards of only 2.9 miles per hour on one gear. And then, of course, moving on to the crew, you've got your standard crew. So you've got your commander and gunner in the turret, and then you've got your driver down here at the front of the hole and here is your standard menu for things you can unlock and you've got your smoke grenades here as well and of course this comes with a laser range finder but not with the laser warning system which could be a bit of a disadvantage so we're going to take this out for a very quick test drive just to see how it performs so we'll just take it forward and just see how it does with acceleration it seems to be accelerating decently well We've also got this dozer blade at the front, but um, I'm not entirely sure how useful that's going to be. Yep, there's the gun. Seems to be working okay. So weirdly enough, we don't actually seem to have a option to use the dozer blade. Which is weird because I did test drive this the other day and it gave me the option. So I don't know why that suddenly disappeared. And of course, here's the thermal vision. There's the laser rangefinder in action. I think I've got the timed fuse on. Yeah, it doesn't work particularly great at long ranges. Much prefer a VT shell. There's the laser rangefinder. I'll try that heat FS. And direct hit. And we were told there's new angles on the grenade launchers. I'm not sure if that makes much of a difference, to be honest. You've also got this smoke generating thing at the back here. Which is more for when retreating, I suppose. Let's just see if we can get this up to its top speed. There's the machine gun. Here's the driver's view. Much quieter in here as well. So I've driven right to the other end of the testing range. And my top speed seems to be remaining about 37 miles per hour. 
Of course, officially it said we could do 41. So I don't know if there's a bit of a glitch going on there or if they've just mislabeled it for some reason. Because, of course, it did say it was slightly faster than the T90. I'm going to try it again on the flat paved road to see if that can get us up to our top speed. Uh, even on the paved road, it seems to just max out at about 37 miles per hour. So I suspect they've mislabeled something there. That, um doesn't seem to make a lot of sense otherwise right so that is the t90a and i did just double check i was definitely doing that on reference so that should have had every modification added so that should have easily got up to 41 miles per hour which it says it can do and yeah looking at the uh modifications i don't know if maybe that was supposed to be the bulldozer blade and maybe they've accidentally disabled it for some reason yeah, for some reason, this seems to be not quite finished. Or oh, it's got the wrong stats assigned to it. So obviously, this is going to be coming in at 10.7 as a squadron vehicle. So you need 520,000 RP, like squadron RP. Or you can get it for 7,800 Golden Eagles, but that's with a 50% discount. So it would normally be 15,600. I assume it'll be that price once it's actually released. And so, yeah, this is coming to the British tech tree. and. Yeah, I suppose it does make sense for an Indian vehicle to go in the British tech tree because, like I say, it's a Commonwealth nation. But it is very weird that now we've got the Hungarian tech tree that five of ten nations have Soviet vehicles in their top tiers. I still think we could have maybe had a actual British vehicle. I mean, obviously, I do my series on vehicles I'd like to see added to War Thunder. And, yeah, I would have liked to see something maybe, you know, actually British or at least more Commonwealth related and not just a Soviet MBT. But I'm sure it'll be very effective if you use it. And uh, I suppose if you have fun with it, that's the most important thing. Anyway, just a quick video for today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been Toreno and I'll see you next time.